children today we will begin with the second chapter of history standard 9th socialism in europe and the russian revolution children let us recap the last lesson on french revolution and we had learnt in the french revolution that the french society during the late 18th century was divided into a state system okay uh, in the and it was in the form of a hierarchy that means the first state was the clergy that means who the people who worked in the church okay this the second state was the nobility they they comprised of the kings queens nobles of the sword princes of the royal blood dukes marquises counts viscounts barons knights nobles all these belonged to the nobility okay that means they were the kings and queens and whoever belonged to the royal family and the third estate was for the commoners and they included lawyers doctors businessmen merchants soldiers craftsmen shopkeepers and peasants so you see basically when we were learning about the french revolution we saw that the french society was divided into a hierarchy the first estate the clergy the second estate the nobility and the third stage were the commoners okay and then after we see then the with the french revolution which began in 1789 to 1799 we see a drastic change and we see the first change that we saw that the abolition of this state system it was banned it was abolished okay the next change in the with the french revolution that we see because of the political turmoil in the country uh, we see a, a drastic change france was earlier ruled by a monarchy king okay king louis the 16th and then later we see a big shift he they was overthrown and now it was a, a change to a republican form of government where the people elected their representatives so this was a second change okay the first change we saw abolition of the state system second we see a shift from the monarchy form of government to a republic form of government where the people voted and elected their representatives and the third thing that we see during this french revolution was three ideas that emerged okay which became very popular liberty freedom equality means everyone they will get equal opportunities everyone is considered equal and fraternity the feeling of brotherhood and love among the citizens okay so these three ideas became very very popular so children after the french revolution you see three major changes that have taken place and we'll see this now the age of social change was coming in now uh, taking the cue or taking the lessons from the french revolution all ruling monarchies all over the world who were, who were ruled by kings and queens now made sure that they would work for the welfare of the people they will help the people because they knew now that if they don't work for the people they will be overthrown uh, that is what happened in france and even in india freedom fighters like raja ram mohan learned uh, raja ram mohan roy learned about the ideas of freedom and democracy and many european countries also uh, wanted to go in for a parliamentary democracy so everyone now gather these ideas from the french revolution they started looking into it and started thinking about this change that needs to be brought in the society now children uh, you may have liked a movie but your friend may not have liked the same movie or i give you another example suppose you like chocolate ice cream and your brother or sister likes mango flavored or vanilla flavored ice cream so what do you see if you find that different people have different choices and opinions so when it came up to about social change bringing about social change when they got the ideas from the french revolution different people had different opinions about social changes they did not agree with each other so it depends everyone has their own ideas and opinions and we are going to learn about three major divisions who about opinions about the social change that needs to be brought about in the society so the three are conservatives liberals and radicals and we look into their opinions about social change bringing about social change in society 
children now let us look into the ideas and opinions of the conservatives first now who are the conservatives they were the rich wealthy people who owned property or who belonged to the royal family and what were the ideas they did not believe in change and they wanted to preserve the past so they wanted that the monarchy should continue as a form of government okay and they did not like the ideas put up by the liberals and the radicals okay but after the french revolution they slowly began to think yes that there should be slow change to be brought in the society so let us look at this through the visuals you can see here the first visual is saying that they opposed the ideas given by the liberals and radicals okay and then you they uh, said that monarchy should continue and be practice okay and uh, they did not believe in any change and wanted to preserve whatever is going on in the past whatever type of things were going on that should continue but with the french revolution now they started thinking that yes some changes must be brought but the change must be slow okay so that were the ideas of the conservatives okay Uh, children, now let us look into the ideas and opinions of the liberals. Now they believed also in a slow change for the people and society. They believed in granting freedom and equality of all religions. They did. They opposed the monarchy form of government and wanted a parliamentary form of government where the people voted to elect their representatives. And then they also wanted that whatever laws are made by the government should be in the welfare of the people and to say. And they wanted a judiciary which will safeguard the rights of the individuals. Okay. so and they did not believe in universal adult franchise they believed that only people who have property should vote all should not be given the right to vote so these were their ideas of bringing about social change okay now let us look at all these features through the help of a diagram so you can see they wanted a change in society they were tolerant towards all religion then they wanted that uh, the government should be a representative form of government by voting and whatever laws are made by the government it must be looked into by the judiciary so that their their rights and uh, welfare of the citizens are protected okay and they did not believe in universal adult franchise in fact they did not want everyone to vote they only wanted people who had money who had property could vote even the women were not allowed to vote and lastly we see since they wanted a parliamentary they opposed the rule of dynasty rulers who had power and the monarchy okay so these were some of the features of the liberals so you see children the liberals opposed monarchy they wanted a parliamentary form of government and they also opposed universal adult franchise okay so these were the two factors that they did not want in the social change in fact they wanted only people who had property to vote all were not allowed to vote even the women were not allowed to vote children let us look into the views of the radicals first what did they believe in they wanted immediate change in the society so they wanted immediate so that change should happen all all very quickly okay and they supported a universal adult franchise for women that they said that women should also be given the right to vote okay and what they did not like they did not like that all the benefit should go to the wealthy people to the rich people who are land owners or factory owners they should not get all the privileges and property should not be in the hands of only few in the few of land owners and nobility they should not hold it it should be equally divided in fact they wanted a government which was elected by the majority of the population so through this visuals we can see they wanted a government a person to be elected by the majority of the country's population whoever they wanted should become the ruler of the country and they supported women right to vote so these were the views of the radicals children let us recap what we have learned so far 
so during the late 18th century the french society was divided into three state systems as you know the first state were the clergy people belonging to the church the nobility the kings queens knights etc then the commoners like the peasants shopkeepers doctors and lawyers okay now with the french revolution when it started what are the first things that happened the state system was banned that means the first three sister, uh, states were banned and abolished and now from a monarchy which was ruled by the king louis the 16th was now changed into a republic which means now the people were electing and voting uh, their representatives and these representatives then formed the government okay then we can see that three main ideas emerged three new ideas emerged from the french revolution there were liberty equality and fraternity and these ideas not only were shared in european countries but we see they were inspired these ideas were inspired uh, to many other countries okay apart from european countries many other countries acquired these ideas of liberty equality and fraternity now people now there were various as we said people have different opinions and views about things so people also here in europe had different ideas and views to bring about social change okay so and they were classified into three groups they were conservative liberals and radicals now what were the conservatives ideas they were against change and they wanted to preserve the past so they wanted to continue with the monarchy system and the, uh, these conservatives were belonged to the rich people they were rich and had a lot of wealth like they were the nobility and the property owners they favored monarchy okay uh, the liberals were also fine which they wanted slow changes they believed in the rights of the individuals they believed in parliamentary democracy and but they did not believe in universal adult franchise they said only men with property should what they were against monarchy and universal adult franchise now what were the radicals views they believed in immediate change they supported women uh, voting rights uh, but they opposed the privileges that were given to the wealthy people and they uh, wanted that the concentration of property should not be in the hands of the few in fact it should be uh, divided among all okay only they should not only have earth little percentage of rich people and the others would be poor okay so this was the lesson so far we have seen the age of social change then we have seen the ideas the uh, views of different people and we have categorized them into conservative liberals and radicals